Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. It's the first Sunday of Advent, so we're going to have loads and loads of fun. everybody and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. So today is a really really special Sunday. Can you think of what the special thing is about today? Have a little think. Can you think? Well I'll tell you. Today is the first Sunday in Advent. There are four Sundays in Advent and then it is Christmas Day. So it helps you to count Christmas down. Now normally uh, we would start our Christmas theme this week, but we're not going to start until next week. So this week we're doing our final parable. And uh, Trev will bring that a little bit later on to you. It's about a family. Okay, uh, but before all of that, um, we're going to do a song. So let's limber up. It's quite cold, isn't it? Let's limber up. Here we go. Ready? Here's the song. Lights, please. And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. came to see the baby stood by his mother's side here lay the savior inside a manger oh what a glorious night oh what a glorious night i hear the angels sing
stars shining in the sky. Below in Bethlehem, the king is sleeping. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! My dad's dead rich. He's a farmer, and, and he, he's doing ever so well. And I was thinking, well, when my dad dies, what will happen to all his money? I'm going to ask him. Dad, dad, when 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 you die, what will happen to all your money? Oh, you, my brother and me will get, will get it. Ah. Oh. That's mega. Well, Dad, um, I'm I'm a bit bored with the farm. Can can you can you can you please give me my share now? I, I, yeah, I, I look after it. I just want to go and have some fun when I'm still young. Oh, please, Dad. Ah, oh, Brill. Oh. Thanks, Dad. I've got loads of money now. Bye, Dad. And get rid of this hat. Hey. I'm going to have fun. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and have parties and all kinds of... And, and I've got loads of money. Yeah, and I know I promised me Dad would look after it, but you've you got to have Fun, have you? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have parties. <laughs> Would you want some more food? Anybody want more food? Anybody want some more drinks? Drinks are on me. For and food and uh, same time tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, this is great. I do love it here. In the daytime, it's lovely and sunny out here in Ibiza. Yeah, brill. Yeah, right. More drinks? Just a minute. Oh, no. Um, sorry. I don't seem to have any money left. Where are you going? Oh, well, that's not a lot very fair, is it? They've all left me just because I've got no money left. The meanies. I thought they were friends, obviously. They weren't really friends. What am I going to do now? Um, oh, I'll have to get a job. I better go to the job centre. Um, hello, hello I, I need a job. Have, have you got any jobs? Well, I like the sound of that. Nah, I couldn't do that. I haven't got a driving licence, I can't do that. Oh, what? Caging assistant at Trotters. I could do that. I'm into cooking and food. Right, that. The address, right. Oh, oh. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get a job in Trotters as a caging assistant. Yeah. Um, I, I've come for the job uh, as catering assistant. Then. Oh, you having a laugh? Oh, no. I've got to feed these things every day. They're stinky. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, oh no. I'm ever so hungry. You know, their food looks, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Um. Get over. Watch it. Sorry. Move over. Move over the job. Oh. Yeah. That's disgusting. Oh. You know, if I'd stayed at home, I'd have a nice warm bed, plenty of good food. 
No, but Dad's going to be so cross. Oh. Well, maybe if I go back and say to Dad, look, I'm sorry, Dad. Could you give me a job on the farm? I'll, 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 I'll work harder than last time. No, I'll be cross. But better than this, better than these stinky pigs. Oh, I'll give it a try. He's going to be ever so cross. He's going to be really angry, and he might he might just choke me out. Oh, he's, I can see him. I can see. Him. He's running, Dad. Dad, no. Ah, could, could you? Could you? I'm sorry. Could, could you? Could you give me a job? No. I'm not, I'm not worthy to be your son. Just, I just want a job. Oh, really? Oh, da, oh. I'm ever so sorry. Oh, oh, thanks, Dad. You're going to what? Pa oh, I like parties. I haven't done a party in ages. <laughs> um, that'd be great. You're going you're gonna to kill the, the fattened calf. Oh, that'd be so good. Mm. Okay, now it's time for thinking time. Did you enjoy that story? Do you remember hearing that story before in the Bible? Well, it's all about the lost son. The son who goes to his dad and says, oh, I want all of my inheritance now. I want all my money now so that I can go and have a party. And the father gives him the money and off he goes and he parties it all away until eventually he realises that he's better off saying sorry to his dad and moving back home. Now God says the same about us. He wants us to be part of his family too. And that's why Jesus told this story. He wants us to be part of God's family. And sometimes, sometimes we do things that are wrong. Sometimes we do things that maybe are a little bit silly or, or hurt other people. And so God says, when you're sorry about those things, you can ask me for forgiveness and I will forgive you too. So that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to ask our Heavenly Father, Father God, to forgive us for any bad things that we've done and to help us to behave better and be part of his family. So let's, let's just say a prayer. Lord God, we thank you that you're he our Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you forgive us when we do things that are wrong. And God, I just pray that you'll help us to always follow your ways Help us to be part of your family. And God, help us to say sorry when we've done things wrong. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, everybody, it's time for our Reds. Versus Blues, again, uh, I'm really sorry, Blues. I'm doing absolutely a rubbish you know, uh, over the last few weeks. I got caught cheating, and then I lost, and then I won, and then I lost again. So now I am two points behind again. It just shows you it doesn't pay to cheat. Okay, so uh, today is going to be a really difficult one. You don't need any cups today at all. You just need a ping pong ball or two. We've got about 20 uh, because uh, this is really hard. You have to stand um, <clears throat> with your feet apart. You have to throw the ball up in the hair. You have to bounce it off your head and then you have to catch it without moving your feet. <laughs> and this is proving very difficult. So I'm going to have to change my hat around because it, it'll bounce off the peak and I'll have an unfair advantage. If anything, just laugh at us throwing balls at our head. Right, here we go. Once we run out of balls, Oh, what? We'll call it a draw. <gasps> All right. Okay, are you ready? First one to do it. Do you want to pull yours closer so I'm not classed counted as cheating? Right, here we go. Three, two, have you got the ball? One, go. Oh! I caught it when it I Oh! Yes! I caught it and you screamed and I dropped it. Was that a draw then, do we think? <laughs> no. Uh, so that's another win for red, so that's three points ahead, Blues. I'm really sorry. Uh, see you next week. Have a go.
Okay, everybody, that's nearly time for us to say goodbye this morning. I hope you've had fun, Reds versus Blues, learning about the lost son and our song as well. Hope you're having a go at that. And don't forget, there is craft available, so if you download our pack, then you can do the craft too. Okay, so we're going to pray to finish. So let's wiggle our fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Here we go. One, two, three. Lord God, we thank you so much that we can be part of your family. And I pray for all the boys and girls and all the mums and dads that they have a really, really good week um, in the week ahead. Keep everybody safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so boys and girls, don't forget, it's Ignite Life Group tomorrow night. And uh, next Friday, the 3rd of December, we will not be having Ignite Extra. Uh, the reason being it is Santa Friday, and I'm sure you'll all want to be uh, down the high street welcoming it, welcoming him in. in, in. So uh, we're having a week off, and then we'll be back the following week for Ignite Extra. Uh, see you next week. Bye.